And we are back. Uh, Nimrandir coming back for some more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. It's been a hot minute since I played this game last, so I feel kind of bad in hindsight. So um, if you haven't seen our previous episode, uh, go back and watch it. Uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. There was a big fight, high armor class enemy. Um, I made that hole up in the uh, you know, top right corner of the screen. It, it was exciting. Hellwig got swole. Yeah, yeah, there was there was a lot happening. Um, so anyway, we are here helping out uh, Count Arende, who came really, really close to dying, and I think ended up failing a save against a disease or something, um, as some demons burst through that door up at the you know, up at the top of the screen. Um, so the fight is over, at least as far as I can tell, and we have two points of interest. So we have the Count himself, that if I remember right, this is him sit, uh, sit standing near the head of this uh, feasting table. And we've also found Aranka the Bard, who was one of our targets for the uh, side quest involving the uh, Desnans. So, let's see here. I am controlling Sela now, right? All right, so so we want to stay away from the pit. I have no idea if I can actually fall in the pit, but I'm going to try to stay away from it. I feel a little awkward. I've got these, you know, like in their underpants, you know, cortisons um, sitting around. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's get moving. Lead here. on. So I'm debating who to go talk to first. I think I'm actually going to go talk to Aranka, because I'll be honest, the Count kind of aggravated me between his, you know, Insistence on just standing in place and shooting a crossbow, and, you know, yeah, the fact that he's having a party while there's a demonic invasion going on. That, that, that bugs me. Anyway, let's go talk to Aronko no trouble. Thank you, stranger. The young woman does not look the least bit scared. Her cheeks are flushed and her blue eyes are glittering. For saving us from the demons, and for your timely entrance, I swear I don't know who has enraged me more today. The demons are the oh-so-affable master of this house. Um, so what can you tell me about the master of the house? About the Count? Her voice drops to a whisper. I've wanted to smash a jug over his head about five times today already. He just brings that feeling out in people. It's one of his many talents. Other than that, well, you probably already heard about the Arende family. All I can say is that the Count's servants flee this place like rats from a sinking ship. No one ever stays here long, even though he pays them extravagantly. I even heard one servant complain that he always feels uneasy in the Count's home, like someone is watching him. Unseen eyes staring at the back of his head, even if his back is to the wall, <laughs> even if he turns around. I don't know if I believe all these tales, but I'm just telling you what I've heard. Uh, we've technically heard her name, but let's go with Tell Me About Yourself. I'm a bard. Um, what else? Oh, I only arrived in Cadabras recently. I'm touring the whole of Mendev and far beyond its borders to perform for my devoted fans. Okay. A bard? That's great! I love singing. Will you sing me a song? I think she kind of still is? I, I don't know. Yeah. We've still got the Inspire Courage aura, so... <laughs> she Aronka smiles. Sorry, I don't think this is a good time to sing a long, sweeping epic. But I will gladly sing for you some other time. Um... Okay. I'm a friend of Ilk's. He asked me to find you and protect you. <laughs> she claps her hands together. Ilk's is alive, and he's made a brilliant new friend. It's a shame it had to happen now when the city is under siege by the demons. And those pig-headed inquisitors are pursuing us instead of doing something useful. Um, I got some experience. Uh, so yeah, well, I've already done Tell Me About... I guess I could do Tell Me About Yourself again. It's like, you know, marking it. I'm guessing we get a little more information now that we've cracked the facade i don't know so yeah why did you decide to like you know try to cast magic on the ward stone um so anyway but but it wasn't a demon trap Aronka says forcefully and her voice softens and her expression turns pensive you know living next to the world wound and seeing the powerlessness of the crusaders it's very hard we've been trying to defeat the demons for a hundred years now and we have nothing to show for it I think that Queen Galfrey and the other leaders think that we can defeat evil if we line up our soldiers in perfect columns and send them marching off with a stirring battle cry. We just need a few more soldiers, a little more discipline. But we've been marching for a hundred years, and it's always one step forward, two steps back. And while the soldiers are marching, people like Holren are seizing power behind their backs. His fanaticism and cruelty were forged in the same furnace as the Crusader's righteousness. We will never defeat the demons if we keep trying to march down the same path. We need to change tack. 
to challenge our principles, trust our hearts and our friends, and not moldering doctrines. We need to listen to any entity that is willing to help us. My friends and I listened, and, and we trusted, and we tried to change something. At least we tried, even though it didn't work out. Great idea. Marching in straight lines won't work. So let's go attack the demons in a merry band of hopers and dreamers, brimming with enthusiasm and doing just whatever we feel like. When the demons see us coming, they'll die of hysterics, and our victory will be complete. Yeah, I don't, you know. Thanks, Lan. I mean, yeah, like I said, he, he busted out. He had to he had to Joss Whedon this. That's, you know. Naive children, that's what you are. But I admit, your words stir something in my soul. I wouldn't put you in charge of a military campaign, but I'd be proud to fight alongside you. Um, okay. Here, let me try telling me about yourself again. I'm Aranka, traveling bard and follower of Desna. Many of my fellow bards are rootless misfits who wander the world unwilling or unable to live a normal life. For me, that's only partly true. I have a wonderful family. My mother, father, grandmother, brother. Right now, they're far away, and I'm sure they miss me. They've always supported me in my vocation, and they let me be free to roam. Because they knew that I couldn't be happy while there was so much of the world I hadn't explored, and so many places where people might need my help. So, stepping out of, you know, character voice at this stage, like, you know, have, you've heard about the in-world Pathfinders, right? Like, literally, you, you should, like, go to Absalom, like, you know, try to join them. It's a, it's, it, they really would suit what you're talking about here. Anyway, um, so, how did you end up here? That's fair. Holren's hounds followed me and Wallflower, and they tried to capture us. I distracted them, and I lost them in the streets before charming my way into this party. Even if the Inquisitors saw where I went, they wouldn't have been allowed past the door. Holren holds no sway among certain members of the aristocracy. So I picked a good place to lie low. That is, until the demon showed up. She shivers and wraps her arms around herself. Alright. What about the third of your group? Wallflower? No idea. If he knows about the demon attack, he won't just hide away. He'll go out and try to help people. If he doesn't know, well, you have no chance of finding him. He's a pretty skilled mage, but I doubt he'll risk using magic. He'll probably do something the Inquisitors won't expect. Pose as someone, disguise himself. We had a great selection of masquerade costumes in the temple. She becomes lost in thought for a moment, so I'm imagining her like, like stroking her chin thoughtfully. I know. I'll tie my shawl around your arm. Wallflower gave it to me. He'll spot it right away and know you're a friend. If I were you, I'd look for him in Canabras' Market Square. Really? Okay. I guess, I'm going, I guess we're going back to Market Square, y'all. Um, but we've got the shawl that will hopefully tell us, you know, tip Wallflower off to us. Can you get somewhere safe on your own? This is also important. It looks like the Inquisitors aren't busting down the door just yet, and they're not hiding under the bed, so I think I'm safe for now. I'll be fine on my own. I'll go to our temple, to Ilks. The Inquisitors must have searched there by now. They won't go back a second time. Here's hoping. Um, I should go. Good luck. May Desna be with you, stranger. And the Song of the Spheres guide you as well, Aranka. Um, okay. I like the courtesans just kind of all staring at me. That's awkward. Um, anyway. Alright. Knowledge world check. Okay. A success the intricate praise. patterns on the harp depict the stars, the moon, and butterflies. The hallmarks of the goddess Desna. Okay, do I have anything else around here? I got a little XP for that. Okay. On my um, way. Musician, does he? Terrible tragedy. Terrible, I say. When those demons came through, they smashed a fine bottle of Kion in red. Vintage it was. Dude, you're like one of the musicians. You should be a little more... There's the... This is simple. The hookah. Um, like, how long does... How long is Helpwig gonna stay huge? I think it's... Is it a minute? A level? Okay, so... Maybe a bit. I guess that's the I'll only... See what I can do. I guess I can do it that way. Oh, there's another knowledge world check. Okay, cool. It went splendidly. Portrait of Galfrey Mendev, ruler of the kingdom and founder of all crusades in the world. Lead on! Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that, that was useful. I think I remembered there being some knowledge checks that popped up, but anyway. Uh, I guess now we'll talk to Darren. Greetings, valiant stranger who has just burst into my life. I am the master of this house. Count Darren Kale, myriad mellifluous monikers Arunde. No need to introduce yourself. I find remembering insignificant details, such as the name of passing acquaintances, such a bore. I love this guy already. I mean, 
It's weird. Honestly, I'm kind of conflicted. I'm a big fan of alliteration, so the fact that Darren shoved myriad mellifluous monikers into the middle of his name is is endearing to me. But then he immediately tells me that he he doesn't really feel like remembering my name. Wow. Bonafide blue bloods and unparalleled aristocracy. All this makes me itch to do something really crass. Ooh, like blow my nose on the curtains. There are some curtains? Where do you see curtains, Lan? Um, anyway. What are you waiting for, my squamous squire? The curtains in this room are velvet, but we have some excellent silk ones with gold thread elsewhere in the house. Take your pick. My soft furnishings are yours to do with as you wish. I'm quite sick of the place, truly. I shall either sell it, or burn it to the ground and build a new mansion in its place. I love that his in-game model is like still covered in blood from where he was brought to like, like two or th like you know, three or four hit points or something. And yeah, you know, anyway. So yeah, very spur of the moment here. Now that we've finished with the niceties, tell me this. How did all those thrice damned demons end up at my soiree? Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of like three. I mean, like, which is really weird because quite literally Darren was at the festival. Apparently he came, he got bored of the market square and came back here to party. Um, so, yeah. Oh, come. The party was deathly dull. Rather like one of the prelate's interminable sermons. I really ought to be grateful to the demons for their intrusion. They certainly added a frisson to the proceedings. Wow. Okay. I tossed a French word in. It, feels, it always feels kind of strange to me in universe when, like, you know, they use something from a language that, like, you know... A anyway. It seems as though Discari's occasion was altogether more of a crush than mine. If you will pardon the pun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. Evil action. I don't like you die. Um, uh, so, what should I know about you? As a child, I had my very own pony, but I always dreamed of having a lamb. I was never allowed one. Sheep were seen as peasant animals, utterly unsuitable for the scion of a noble line. The trauma haunts me to this day. I think of it every time I have roast lamb for dinner. What the heck? Okay. I'm sorry that happened to you. Such a sad story. Ember, you're a little gullible, but eh. It's kind of endearing, though. I love that she has, like, you know, the raven, like, sitting there, like, on her arm, like, you know, calling or something as this happens. I had not even the slightest intention of upsetting such a lovely child. Is he, is he legit? I'm not lovely. Some people have even called me a scarecrow before. <laughs> okay. Maybe he was being snarky, but I don't know. It's tough to tell from the tone. That's patently absurd. Why, you can't possibly be a scarecrow with a crow following you around. This is, this is, this is true. Legit. Yeah, point Darren. Yeah. I'm sorry if I failed to sate your curiosity. I loathe talking about myself to people I don't know. Even more to those I do know. The only thing worth knowing, aside from the fact that I am highborn and filthy rich, is that I dislike Puritans and demons in equal measure. Well, perhaps demons a tad more. Yeah, I'd like to think that the scales were tipped in their in in, in in you know in favor of the demons after one of them like quite literally was you know inches from killing you. Um. Okay. Uh, I have sure. no friends here whose untimely demise I would care to mourn. The only alarming thing is how easily all this happened. I don't care for the thought that demons could come calling at my door at any moment. And just think, everyone had so much faith in the wardstones gifted by Iomade's herald, and in the might of our tamed dragon, as if there had been no Dresden or a dozen other routes where the demons overcame every defense. Count falls silent and rubs his brow, looking fatigued. Okay. The Arendas are one of the most ancient and noble families in Mendiv. They are related by blood to Queen Galfrey herself. 
The Count is the last remaining member of his dynasty. The rest all perished around ten years ago. In the tragedy at the family seat, Heaven's Edge, the demons got past the defenses and massacred everyone inside. Wait, so you still were holding the Puritans, like, close? Oh, okay. I mean, I guess he said he doesn't really care about, you know, he cares about people he knows less than people he doesn't. So, anyway. I thank you for providing your friend with that helpful summary, my lady. I believe I've seen you before with that hilarious buffoon, Horgus Gworm. I sincerely hope you are not engaged in any kind of sordid arrangement with him. The thought of something so splendid in proximity to something so grotesque makes me feel quite ill. You deserve a better fate than that, no doubt. I like, I kind of like that they, uh, that Darren hung a lampshade on the fact that, you know, Camellia just stopped in the middle to give a, in the middle of this conversation to give us some plot exposition. That's a nice touch. Um, on the other hand, I am disappointed that he did not say the name the way it should have been said. Horgus Gwurm! That's the, you know, that, but anyway, he's, he, again, he's, he's, like, bleeding to death, so, um, anyway. Your civility knows no bounds, Count. I most assuredly do not have any arrangement with Master Gworm. <laughs> As Camellia speaks, hints of carefully suppressed irritation slip into her voice. Uh, all right, I don't really expect any gratitude for the saving thing. I mean, I'm supposing somehow plot-wise he would have ended up not dying, if even if everyone else had. But it's nice to know that all of the random nobles and, you know, courtesans who died because they, like, kept running around willy-nilly surrounded by demons and taking attacks of opportunity. Um, so, you know, I'll just jump straight to going to the Defender's Heart. It's under the protection of Irabeth and the Eagle Watch. I thank you for the invitation, but I am not quite as desperate as I may seem. At times, it is better to be surrounded by the repugnant mugs of demons than the sour and dour physiognomies of Iomade's righteous paladins. Huh. I wonder if he. Uh, I wonder if the voice actor's right there. I'd always pronounce that physiognomy, like I'd actually pronounce the G. Hmm. Now I feel a little silly. I mean, it's it's not a word I say like you know on a daily basis or anything. But huh. All right. That's what happens when you read a word a bunch without actually hearing someone say it. Maybe. What about my physiognomy? Sour enough for his lordship? Don't worry. Another few minutes with the dazzling count here, and it'll sour like weak old milk. <laughs> like that she raises her sword with a flourish and uses its smooth surface as a mirror. <laughs> she stops to look at her face and her sword. Okay. What's this? An attractive paladin with a sense of humor? You're a veritable walking scandal. Either way, my mansion is now safe. I have a pair of half-decent guards. I just need to drag them out of the storeroom and bring them to their senses. I ordered them to drink a love potion, you see? For reasons which seemed extremely witty at the time and in the state of inebriation I then found myself in. They can guard the house while the valorous paladins beat back the demon assault. They will beat them back, yes? <laughs> like, you're gonna win, right? I mean, you, you, you have a whiff of protagonist about you. Uh, he gave his guards a love potion. Okay. And then and then locked them in a storeroom? Uh, anyway. As regards myself, I feel like stretching my legs. I know rudimentary divine spells. I am no friend to demons, and I elevate any society that I deign to grace with my presence. I shall accompany you. Only for a short time, of course. I have no desire to remain at the vanguard for a protracted period. What say you? My ephemeral but highly diverting acquaintance. After all, Lord Descari spoiled my party. I now burn with the desire to spoil his. Do I have to cure your disease that you contracted from that sheer attack? If, yeah, anyway. Huh, thoughts. I'm presuming thoughts is actually directed to my party members, but, you know, we'll, we'll check it out anyway. I don't like this guy much at all. Not even because of his personality, but just... I sense something dark about him. Fair. I guess thumping him one next time he comes out with more aristocratic witterings is not allowed. All the more reason to take him with us. 
If we don't kill him, the demons surely will. So that's a tie at the moment, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Stila says no, Lan says yes. He has all these friends at his party, and he still looks so lonely. We can take him with us. Maybe it will make him feel better? Okay, so Ember votes yes. Okay. The Count's presence can only benefit us. I think we should say yes. Camellia, whom we totally trust as, an, as a completely on the level member of our party and society at large, says yes. Technically, that's three to one at this point, so, you know. I'm guessing if we brought Windowog instead of Lan, that Windowog would say we should kill him, but eh, who knows. Huh? What? You're asking about whether to take this boy with you? The question lies outside the bounds of my interest. And an abstention. Okay, that sounds that sounds very appropriate. So, so far we have three eyes, one nay, and an abstain. We'll run this democratically, so it gets, seems like he gets to come with us. By the way, did you know that the young scions of noble families often sponsor the research of young scientists? What laudable passion for knowledge. True, the size of their donations bears a direct correlation to the hazardousness of the experiment being conducted. All right, well, I guess deal it is. I like that Ninio still had to stop and talk about some others. I like that she said she abstains, even though, like, she just said the dude could be, like, a research sponsor. Capital. Good acquaintances that begin and end at just the right moment often leave the most pleasant memories. Wouldn't you say? Do you have memories, dog? Um, anyway. Um, so now, um, I can level up... But I can bring Darren with me instead of one of my other characters. I almost feel like I should, like, trade out spellcasters again. Like, swap Camellia for Darren or something like that. He is a healer? That's a possibility? I'm not I'm not planning to go to Holga's Gwurm's estate just yet. So, so maybe? Then maybe that's what I should do? Maybe I should go that route? Um, because, yeah, she's, she's pretty much out of spells at this point. So... Um, sure. Yeah, this is, that, that, that works. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll bring, we'll bring Darren with us. We got to level him up, but anywho. I will help where I can. Okay. Hey, she sat down. Okay. Awesome. So now we have the count with us and I think we've explored everything. Double check the map. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else because we'd already checked those the smaller rooms before we came in here for the big fight. All right, so I guess we'll wrap things up. Uh, whoops, wrong screen here. I'll go ahead and take the opportunity switch over to Darren in here. Doink! Wow, that character model is is something. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and level him up. Together a twenty we charisma, yowza. Okay. Um. So yeah, again, spellcaster. So you typically don't want to, um, you know, diverge, you know, from the, from the spellcasting thing. So, so, yep. So we'll take a level in Oracle. He gets a stat bump. He is almost as weak as Ninio. That's impressive. My, I may be overburdened now by having traded out Camellia for this guy. Um. Yeah, I think just keep keep jacking the charisma, I guess. Yeah, that's it's kind of yeah, single the the single yeah, single attribute dependent casters. You know how it is. All right, he's a Zada blooded. Okay, sure. Skill points. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll just go with where he's already got stuff. That's usually the way to go. Persuasion is now at a plus fifteen because his charisma is again jacked. Um. All right. Wow, plus 15. Okay, well, I should be able... If I got him with me, I should be able to make, like, all the diplomacy checks. Um, is that all of my stuff? Yeah. Okay, cool. I love that despite being, like, a divine spellcaster, he has nothing in religion. Um, and even with a plus two wisdom score. Or like, a plus two wisdom bonus. Wild. Okay. So now I can pick one more spell to add to his repertoire. What does he currently have? Uh, let's go check his spell book. Bane, bless, cure light wounds, remove sickness, and shield of faith. 
Oh, he just right. He just now got level two spells. Okay, so I mean, it feels like cure moderate wounds is the obvious choice. I can, I'm trying to remember if life oracles automatically get cure moderate. Um, hold person could actually be really useful with this guy. Um, because he's got a sky high. Uh, with a sky high, but like you know stat bonus, he could really mess some people up. Um, did it recommend anything in particular? The thing that bothers me is that it's not like de-recommending Cure Moderate, which feels like that would that would be, you know, that would be the thing I would normally expect if it said, you know, no. So I think I do need to take the next Cure spell. Um, so yeah, so we'll We'll take cure moderate because it, like I said, it didn't, it didn't say no. Um, I'll be very upset if it turns out yes, he learns cure moderate like for free. That would drive me bonkers. Um, anyway. Oh, and he's neutral evil. I like, how, <laughs> I like how it like the cursor just pops up on his alignment. By the way, in case you were wondering, yeah, this guy's totally evil. Um, all right, so that's a thing. So yeah, all right, well. We'll finish this up. God, they spent his feet on rapier proficiency? Are you kidding me? And he's not wearing any armor? Rely on me. Oh, jeez. I mean, I guess we're lucky he's wearing clothes, but um anyway. Rules are made to be broken. Rules are made to be broken. I should have figured he'd say that. Uh, do I have some armor? God, can he carry it? Uh, let's see here. What armor can he use? The hide armor overburdens him. That's all I've got. Okay, fantastic. Um, uh, let's see here. Really need to give that to, uh, I need to give the flow of water to Ninio, since she actually has Snowball in her spell list. But, um, anywho. Wow, yeah, he doesn't have much. Do I at least have a masterwork of that thing? No. Oh, wow. Okay. This is awkward. So, here. Uh, sure, have a... Well, Cold Iron Short Spear is your other weapon there, friend. Um, oof. This is not good. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have much. Uh, let's see here. Scrolls he could make use of. Um, Scroll of Prayer seems reasonable. Bear's Endurance. Actually, having to remove Paralysis out on the quick bar is a good idea. Um, let's see. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll still go with the Bear's Endurance, then. Potions? Actually, there we go. Drink the Potion of Mage Armor while we're tooling around. Um, eh, actually, that's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and give that to him. Um, and I've got one more slot. Uh... Sure, Scroll of Bless. Okay, so I welcome your company. All right. No reason to pause. So Sela is now tired, apparently. So that's a thing. All right. Well, it sounds like where we're gonna need to go next is here, no just to trouble. check, double check, and make sure there's nothing hiding. There's no like loot or anything. Oh, there. Uh, mobility DC eighteen. Okay, well here, let's quick save before we try this, because Lan is my mobility person and he's fatigued, so Forget it. Uh Uh, well, it took us two hours. Wait, remember Amulet of Natural Armor plus one? Okay. Where did I get that? Anyway. Um Alright, so uh yeah, it didn't actually open any new routes. I've got the, you know, the Tirabade house, the mansion. Yeah, I think I'm just going to reload this game and then, you know, hanged cultist. Okay. Um anyway. So yeah, so me thinks that I'm going to be returning to uh 
you know, to the market square. But I'm going to do that without having wasted two hours of in-game time failing a mobility check. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of the Nimrindir Plays Wrath of the Righteous series to see what brought Helwig the Last Warrior and my uh, party of heroes, particularly now with Darren in tow, feels um, a little sketch. But you get the idea. So uh, we will catch you next time.